Hi, it's Anika from Living for Later. I recently did a series on um, obedience and I focused on the life of Noah. And if you click on one of the links above, um, it'll lead you to that series. But of course we know that um, the scriptures are just filled with many examples of those that obeyed and those that disobeyed. And I think that it's something that we can never um, read enough about, right? Because we're always challenged um, in the area of our obedience. So recently I've been reading um, the story of Abraham, rereading the story of Abraham. And um, I think the thing that I learned, learned from Abraham about obedience is that, you know what, I am called to act in obedience, even if I don't agree. I think that sometimes um, the Lord tells us to do things and we don't agree with it because it just seems so crazy or it goes against what we want to do or what we want um, to happen. So we choose not to obey. But the point is um, with Abraham's life is you see so many instances where um, he, he obeys, even if it's not necessarily something that he wants to do. Um, and, you know, we start from the very beginning when he leaves, God tells him, leave your family. I'm sure that wasn't an easy thing for Abraham to do, but he obeys. Then we fast forward to, um, you know, when God tells him the terms of the covenant and says, listen, um, for, for your end of the bargain is that you're going to have to circumcise, um, the males, um, free and slave. Uh, and we see in scripture that Abraham immediately responds to what God tells him to do. And he circumcises all the males in his household. Then we see with Ishmael, when, um, Sarah had enough of um, Ishmael and Hagar and saw Ishmael teasing Isaac, he said, she said to Abraham, get rid of, of, of this, you know, bond servant and her son. And it was a difficult thing for Abraham to do. But when the Lord told him to do it, even if it wasn't something that he wanted to do, right? The scripture tells us that it, 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 it pained Abraham, but he immediately obeyed God and, and, and he responded again in obedience. Then we see um, the story of Isaac after praying and, and believing the Lord and, and longing for a son. He and uh, Sarah, the Lord blessed them with the promised child, uh, Isaac. And then some years later, the Lord says, okay, Abraham, this thing that you have longed for, I'm going to require that you sacrifice this thing to me. You, you're going to have to sacrifice this promised child, Isaac, to me. And even though Abraham didn't agree, and it, it, even though it wasn't something that he wanted to do, we see that the scripture shows us that Abraham was fully on board in terms of God, I'm going to obey you. And at the point where he picks up uh, uh, the knife, right? To sacrifice, to kill Isaac, the Lord tells him to stop and provides the sacrifice for him. And I am challenged because I think sometimes in our, and let me say this, you know, I, I brought out all these great examples of Abraham. And of course, when we read, you know, throughout other accounts in Genesis, we see uh, areas in which he failed, right? Where we see his human frailties on display. But even in that, I think that there's so many powerful examples, some of which I just rehearsed of just his willingness to act even when he didn't necessarily agree. And I just want to encourage you because I want to get to the place of not arguing with God and not explaining to God why he shouldn't require certain things of me, but just understanding that he is God and that there is a purpose in why he tells me to do certain things and really standing, knowing that all things are going to work together for my good. And because I love the Lord, right? And I'm called according to his purpose and I'm walking in obedience. So 
don't wait to agree. You're not God. You can't always understand why he's telling you to do certain things. You can't always understand why he's telling you to release certain relationships. You can't understand why, you know, he, he's telling you to leave um, certain things alone. Certain things are just not as obvious, right? Because killing your son, when God is requiring something like that of Abraham, like God, that just doesn't make sense. I've, I've cried out to you. You promised me this boy. Now you're telling me to, 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 um, to, to sacrifice him, to kill him. Right. But he was willing. So I just want you to think about the thing that you're just going back and forth with the Lord about, because you know, he's telling you and because you don't agree with him, you, you haven't done it. Recognize again, you're not God Move in obedience because certainly as you move in obedience, God will bless you. And with that, you be blessed.